Hi everyone, it's me Pluto, and do you know what day it is today? I mean, yes, yes, it's Sunday, or or almost Monday in the Jacinda Arden lands, but did you, did you also know that June 14 is World Blood Donor Day? It, it's, it is, and, t- and, and blood, blood has been around, I mean, blood has been around forever, but, but we only started to siphon it using quills in order to reuse it and help people in, in the, in the mid 1600s. Well, the vampires were siphoning it earlier using the hickey method, but that, but that was unlawful and for personal use only. Okay. And, and then in, in 1900, uh, Dr. Carl Landsteiner, he discovered that, that there were different kinds of blood and he decided that he would use the alphabet to describe them. So he, he said there was A and then he found B, but, but then he skipped to O. I don't know what was wrong with C. And O was called the universal kind. So I don't know why he didn't just call that U. And then two years later, he had a couple of steamed colleagues and they wanted to add another type that they found and they didn't even try to get creative. They just said A, B. Okay. So, I mean, the Carl Landsteiner guy, he was really smart and he did, he, he did get the Nobel Prize for his smartness, but it sure wasn't for, for creative naming. Okay. It's the people who discover stars that are really good with naming. I mean, they, they have... Arcturus and Vega and Proxima Centauri. It's so cool. Okay, anyway, back to uh, back to A B O A B. In in 1932, the first blood bank was created in the Leningrad lands, and then it, by 1940, the U S. started to collect blood. That was 11 years before they started collecting baseball cards. Okay, so it, around 1948. At the Red Cross, they started collecting blood from the civilians. And this, this is the most important part of how special today is because it's because of all the Amazeballs volunteers who donate their blood and have saved lives. So about, about 100 million units of blood are donated every year around the world. And just one, one donation of blood can save up to three lives, okay? And, and also, apparently, it burns 650 calories, so so that's pretty cool, but that's not recommended as a weight loss regimen, okay? Okay, so be, because of the COVIDs, okay, and the stay-home rules, maybe, I'm not sure you know, but there was a big drop, there's a big drop in the blood donations, but there wasn't a big drop in people that needed blood, so now, so now, the banks are lower than they should be. So if you have some extra blood in your heart, please consider giving it because it's okay, it's safe, and it, and it really doesn't hurt. And the best part is you get a snack, okay? So, so check the Red Cross or the, or the blood centers in your lands, and you could find out maybe when and where they, they have a giving clinic. And it's a really, 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 four really is good way to whoosh some love right into a stranger's heart, okay? So today, so a big shout out today for anyone who's ever donated blood. It's your day. Good for you. Have a magnificent, magnificent day, everyone. Okay, bye for now.